In this little video I just want to show you some basic techniques for how to hold your hook and yarn to begin to crochet. So to begin with we need to connect our yarn to our crochet hook so we begin with a slip knot. So I'm going to take the yarn with the tail hanging out at the front, drape it over my two fingers, clamp it with my thumb, then slip out my two fingers and from the back to the front I'm going to push through the yarn to catch the loop. So I'm now ready to join that to my hook. Pull the yarn in so that the knot is tight. Not so tight that you can't move it, but not too loose that it's gonna come falling off. So now we need to think about how to hold our yarn ready to start crocheting. In our right hand, the hook, you can hold it very simply either like you would with a knife and fork or underneath like you would with a pen. So the right hand's quite straightforward. It's how we now hold the yarn in our left hand to create the tension thread in order to get nice even stitches. So there's lots of ways of doing this, but the way I like to do it is by simply taking the hook where the, the knot is, I'm now going to wrap it over my little finger, all the way over and round again, and then turn my hand over and bring the yarn all the way across the top of my fingers and then when it gets to the other side, bring my middle finger and my thumb down and pinch that knot. And at the same time, I'm raising my index finger. So you get this shape with your hand. And the reason I'm bringing this finger up is to create this tension thread. If I bring the finger down, you can see it either falls off or is just really floppy. But we need that tension thread in order to create tension for making our stitches. Without that tension thread, it's very hard to work our yarn neatly and evenly to create our stitches. Some people prefer to use the middle finger up and pinch with their index finger and thumb. It's really a matter of taste and what works for you best, but I prefer to use my middle finger and thumb to hold my crochet work and then I raise this finger to create that tension thread. So let's just do that once more. So turning my hand upwards, I wrap the yarn over my little finger, all the way over. Then I turn my hand over and then draw the yarn right across the back of my fingers. And I'm clamping actually the, the ring finger and my little finger together so it doesn't slip. And then with middle finger and thumb, I draw those together and then I bring up my first finger to create that tension. You don't want to do it so clamp your hand so tight that you can't let the yarn work through the fingers because of course as you work your stitches you need to be able to let that tension thread through. To begin with this takes a bit of practice. Don't be frustrated um, at the beginning because it does take a lot of getting used to this position and it takes a bit of trial and error to sort of work out how much tension to create. You don't want it so tight that you can't get the, the stitches working, but also not so loose that it becomes really massive, the stitches and really floppy and out of control. So you really need to find a balance between your hook and your thread. This is a bit like a lever, the hook and the finger. So if it feels really tight on the hook, just gently lift your hook so you can open up your stitch. And at the same time with your finger, you can move the position of your finger to create the tension. So once you feel you've got control of that tension thread, which will take a bit of practice, you can then start doing some stitches. So with my right hand, with my hook, I'm now going to get used to doing this action. And once you get used to this, this is the same action you'll do all the time for all your stitches. So you take it to the left or anti-clockwise, run underneath that thread, and you'll see it's run over the top of the hook and then gently pull the hook down. It'll catch in the crook at the top of the hook and then you can pull it through your stitch. I'll do that again. So running underneath, so your, the yarn is going over the hook, gently pull the hook down and you will be pulling your tension thread through your chain or, or making a chain or you're pulling your thread through your stitch. So to begin with, I would practice doing lots and lots of chains because this is a really good way of working your tension thread. I'm doing a few at a time and then I jump up 
and pinch my crochet with my middle finger and my thumb just to feel I've got control. So I'll do it again. About three or four stitches and then jump. So with my right hand I'm going left and right under the hook, under the yarn and pull under the yarn so you'll get used to this repetitive action to begin your crochet. 